Number one, what is the average flow rate in cubic centimeters per second of gasoline to the engine of a car traveling at 100 kilometers per hour if it averages 10 kilometers per liter? All right, so um, basically focus on the units we want to find. All right, so we want to find centimeter cubed per second. So centimeter cubed per second. All right, now think about the nature of this unit. It's a volume, right? So this is a volume. And the nature of this unit is a second, so it's talking about time, okay? Now, look at the other units that you were given, all right? This right here is kilometers per hour. So this is a distance and time, right? Or per time, I should say. And the other unit that was given is another distance and per volume. So basically, what we have to do is from these two units, okay, or from these two uh, values, I should say, 100 kilometers per hour and 10 kilometers per liter, I somehow have to manipulate those two such that when they multiply together, it's going to give me a volume per time. All right. So let's just set them up for right now. So I need my volume in the numerator. And out of these two units here, or out of these two values, the volume is in the second one, right? So that what told us it was 10.0 kilometer per one liter, right? But notice I need the volume in the numerator there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to flip this fraction, right? I'm going to have one liter over then 10 kilometers, right? 10.0 kilometer. So now I know that this is centimeter cubed. I'm not worried about that right now. I just want to get the, the volume in the numerator. And now what I would need to get is time in the denominator. That is not going to come from this particular uh, conversion or this particular value, it's going to come from now the other one, right? So if you notice the other one, they told us it was going to be uh, 100 kilometers per now hour, per one hour. Now I need the time value in the denominator and it's already in the denominator here. So this is great. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this slide it on over here. All right. Now what I realize, and let me just erase this part. Okay. Not to, so we don't get too confused here. So now realize that when I, why isn't it going away? Whatever. Um, realize now when I multiply these two together, what happens? Well, the kilometers will magically cancel, right? And what are we left with? Well, now we would be left with 100 liters per 10 hours, right? You could now divide the 100 and the 10 if you wanted, all right, not a big deal, right? If you do, then it's going to be 10 to 1, right? 10 on the top, 10 liters per hour. Now this conversion is a lot easier, right? Now think about it this way. We got to convert 10 liters per hour now to cubic centimeters per second. So let's do that, okay? 10 liters per one hour. Focus on the liters first. I'm going to convert the liters to cubic centimeters. First, I'm going to go to milliliters, All right? There's a thousand milliliters in one liter. Why am I doing that? Well, because I know the definition that a milliliter is equivalent to a cubic centimeter. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. So that's why I went to milliliters. All right. So now we're not done yet. But now notice that the volume I've got in cubic centimeters. So that's good. Now, though, I need my value in seconds. So I got to get rid of the hours down here. Right. So I'll put the hours on the top, seconds on the bottom. Right. For every hour, there's 3,600 seconds. Okay, because in every hour there's 60 minutes and in every minute there's 60 seconds. So there you go. So the hours go bye bye and look what you're left with cubic centimeters per second. Now just do the math, right? So the numerator is going to be 10 times 1000 all divided then by 3600. And here we get a value of about 2.78 now um, centimeter cubed per second. And that's it. No real physics necessary. This is just a unit conversion. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time. Take care.